And I suppose this is another, another of the, if you like, the other side of me, if, uh, to quote Neil Sadaka. Uh, hey, there you go. Uh, th this, is, uh, this is dedicated to the tadpoles currently wriggling around in our garden, uh, and it's completely true. Okay, I write about what happens. You couldn't make this up. This is called Frog Spawn Man versus the Boy Racers. Mid-90s, March, West Sussex. I've been to a stream next to the A27 looking for frog spawn to populate our brand new garden pond. I guess I first went there when I was about seven and have been many times since. The road is much wider now, the cars are faster, and most of the stream is gone. But one stubborn bit remains next to the concrete and the cars, and the frogs have obviously had an orgy of bacchanalian proportions. I found lots of spawn very quickly. A glutinous black specked mess fills my bucket. It's a beautiful spring day. I'm very happy, full of memories of my father, 70 years old again. I stand by the side of the road next to the traffic lights and wait for my lift home. Suddenly I realise that an inarticulate sounding man in his mid-twenties in some kind of penis extension car has wound down his window and is shouting abuse at me. The lights change, the glands glides off. Then another man makes a two-finger gesture at me. A car full of techno nerds turns down the techno and hurls a collective to the, to the, to the, to the techno insult. The next time the light goes red, a middle-aged, middle-class, Southwick zip-up jumper husband in a middle-aged, middle-class, Southwick zip-up jumper car draws up beside me and glares at me with undisguised contempt. He looks as though he would like to shout something, but no one from Southwick talks to strangers, let alone shouts at them, so he just glares at me. I stare back. I don't glare, I just stare. I am very puzzled. I check my purse. I'm fully clothed. My flies are done up. My mud spattered t-shirt bears the logo of an obscure folk band from Wigan. Does everybody really hate the tan sands that much? I'm totally confused. It's a beautiful spring day. I'm standing by the traffic lights on a West Sussex A road holding a bucket of frog spawn and suddenly everybody hates me. Another car hurdles past, occupants screaming abuse. Then the lights change again. A car draws up beside me, a very flash, shiny one. The boy racer inside is shaking his head. He is gesturing to me as though I'm about to do something totally unacceptable to something very important to him and he really doesn't want me to. I stand there. I gaze at him in absolute bewilderment. His window opens, then his mouth. Bloody squeaky merchant, don't you touch my fucking car, piss off and get a fucking job. I look at him in astonishment. What has he just said? Then the penny drops. I am standing by the traffic lights. I am holding a bucket. He thinks I'm about to start cleaning his car windscreen without his permission, then ask him for money. I walk over to the car. I tip the bucket up slightly and proffer the contents to him. It is his turn to be confused. He's a boy racer. His car has a Rockford dealership sticker on the window. He doesn't exactly have a herpetologist's soul. He stares at the contents of my bucket. He doesn't know what it is. However, I think he realises that I'm not about to start cleaning his windscreen with it. The lights change. He roars off. I walk back to the side of the road and laugh till the tears run down my cheeks, till my sides are killing me, till I pull a muscle. It's March, eight years later. Our pond is full of spawn, the great grand tadpoles of the original bucket full. As I crouch to look at the developing specks, the memory comes back. I start to shake. The tears run down my cheeks. I nearly overbalance into the pond. I run inside. I write this poem. I feel so happy. Cheers.